Financial Secretary John Zhang, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to welcome you all to the inaugural Asia Global Dialogue, the annual forum of the Fung Global Institute. Some of you have traveled far to get here, while some of you are based in Hong Kong and from around the region. Some of you are already friends of the Fung Global Institute, and many of you, we hope, will become friends in the future. We extend to all of you a very warm welcome. The Fung Global Institute is a global economic think tank based in Hong Kong. Although this is a new institution, having just been established only last August, nine months ago, the concept has been many years in the making. It has been an exciting journey for those of us who have worked to make the concept a reality. It has been especially exciting for my brother William and me and all of us at the Fung Foundation as we have been planning this for many years. The launching of the inaugural Asia Global Dialogue is a milestone in this journey, and we are pleased to have you with us today. The mission for the Fung Global Institute is to generate and disseminate innovative thinking and business-relevant research on critical global issues from different Asian perspectives. You will note that we will always use the word perspectives in the plural. We do not believe that there is one single Asian view, but that there are many Asian perspectives, and we believe diversity is really Asia's strength. I would like to share with you today three core beliefs that lie behind our vision for the Fung Global Institute and how the Asia Global Dialogue fit into the overall design. Firstly, we believe that the best form of corporate responsibility is to contribute to the dialogue between the state and civil society on how to achieve good jobs, good profits, social justice, and environmental sustainability without, without having to always rely on fiscal or monetary stimulus. The recent crisis experience has demonstrated that there are limits to the role of the state due to fiscal constraints as well as some outdated governance at global and local levels. As drivers of innovation, markets and job creation, the corporate sector has a unique and major role to play to help address the unprecedented challenges of our times, such as the rebalancing of the global economy, inclusive growth, and climate change. We have established the Fung Global Institute as an independent, non-political research and learning organization dedicated to greater discourse, engagement, and exploration of ideas within Asia and at the global level. And we are grateful that several like-minded families and corporations from Hong Kong, United Kingdom, Malaysia, and Thailand have become founding sponsors of the Institute. Secondly, we believe that multilateral trade and investment remain the engines of global growth and prosperity. As we know, Asia has become a major beneficiary of this multilateral system. The Institute aims to work towards global cooperative solutions to generate growth and employment around the world. Without global cooperation and, and, and employment around the world, um, without global cooperative solutions to generate growth and, and employment around the world, it will not, we will not be able to bring the brain power and the resources to address the complex challenges facing the global economy today. Note that there has been a sea change in the structure of global production in the last few decades due to deepening specialization, expanding markets, rising complexity, and breakthrough innovations. We can summarize the conditions in today's as well as tomorrow's global supply chains in one phrase, made in the world. Hong Kong is a living example of that. I can tell you that most of the goods and services that are sold, channeled, and financed through Hong Kong are made in the world, usually for world markets. 
We consider Hong Kong to be the ideal place to locate the Fung Global Institute with its entrepreneurial spirit of free trade, free speech, and the rule of law. Thirdly, we believe that if our generation does not act and act quickly, there could well be a clash of civilizations of epic proportions. Asia is the melting pot of many civilizations emerging into a new, some say, third industrial revolution. The situation is fluid and requires careful handling with great tolerance and understanding. Our generation has the responsibility to ensure that what lies ahead will become a celebration of civilizations, where there will be a virtuous race to the top of sustained global prosperity and not a race to the bottom of armed conflict. The Fung Global Institute is dedicated to the future of our children and grandchildren so that they will enjoy a better life, better environment, and a better future. To put it simply, the Fung Global Institute is not about Asia becoming the dominant economic power of the new world order. It is really about working together, sharing and communicating what we are doing right now here today to explore the 21st century as a global century where Asia is fully engaged. Generating real world research is at the core of what we do at the Fung Global Institute. For us, this is not merely about being commissioned to undertake research projects and producing reports. It is more about engaging with business leaders and other stakeholders in an interactive cycle of learning on our four areas of interest. They are global supply chains, finance in Asia, growth models in, in China and India, and Asia's sustainable development. You will hear more about our research projects tomorrow. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the business organizations that have already committed to engage with us as our research and learning partners. In establishing the Institute, I have had the good fortune to benefit from such distinguished collaborators as Andrew Sheng, president of our Institute, uh, Michael Spence, chairman of the Institute's academic board. Where are you, Michael? Okay. And Lord Nicholas Stern, uh, who is another member of the Institute's academic board. I don't think Nick is here with us yet. Okay. And of course, Mr. Liu Ming Kang, the first distinguished fellow of the Institute. In addition to our network of individual experts, we have established strategic institutional partnerships with a number of universities and think tanks. In Asia, they are the University of Hong Kong Faculty of Business and Economics, with, with whom, in fact, we are co-located at Cyberport Campus at the back of the island. The Indian Council for Research and International Economic Relations, and Peking University HSBC Business School. Internationally, our partners are Harvard University Asia Center, the MIT Sloan School of Management in the United States, and the IMD in Europe. Looking ahead, we would like the Fung Global Institute to be the recognized source of Asian views and ideas on key global issues. We see the Institute as giving business leaders, policy makers, and civil society perspectives and tools to navigate through this era of global transformation. In addition to building our global network of experts, we will provide a global platform for younger Asian thought leaders with fresh views. This, I think, is actually a very important part of the future work of the Institute, because I think there are a lot of very important emerging views from various parts of Asia that are now not heard on the global stage. And we would like to be the platform to bring them to the global stage. We think also that technology will be critical to our development and success. So we are beginning to experiment with various online tools and technologies appropriate for a 21st century think tank. I hope you will enjoy some of these tools at this forum. 
For this inaugural forum, we have arranged a distinguished lineup of international speakers and panelists to address the theme towards a new global economy, redefining Asia's role. Spanning two and a half intensive days, the forum includes plenary sessions taking place today, parallel track discussions within the wider framework of our four research areas taking place tomorrow, and additional sessions in Sunjun the following day, where we will be joined by some 500 local participants. There will also be other talks and many opportunities to network. We acknowledge and thank those organizations that partner with us to sponsor this forum. We see our annual forum as a platform for dialogue, and we encourage interaction for lively and mutually beneficial exchange of views. We look to all of you to help us frame the key challenges, identify issues of common concern, and prioritize what needs to be done. Together, we will map out the role for business in Asia in shaping the new global economy. So ladies and gentlemen, in closing, let me say that I personally have looked forward to this day for quite a few years. We thank you for taking the time to join us. We hope you will find the discussions challenging, stimulating and rewarding, and in turn, you will share with us your own views and perspectives. We look forward to our dialogue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr.